And the American rapper Ryan Fest tried to change David Cameron's views on hip-hop culture when they met at the House of Commons this morning. The musician wrote to the Conservative leader after hearing that he'd accused the radio station of playing music that encourages people to carry guns and knives. Mr Cameron had also raised his concerns at the party conference in Bournemouth earlier this month. We need parents to bring up children with the right values. We need our schools to be places of discipline and order. We need the music industry to understand that profiting from violent and homophobic lyrics isn't just morally wrong, it's socially unacceptable. Yeah, hi, I'm a young person from Fairbridge, a young charity. I was just wondering if we could do a couple of interviews today. Oh yeah, we're just outside right now. Okay, we're outside Universal Studios. We called them up, we have a few interviews, and we're going to go in there and see what their opinions are on rap music. We wanted to find out why urban music is so popular. Um, a few years ago, grime wasn't successful in the mainstream, but uh, I think, yeah, somehow correlates to how um, the whole nature of, of how the youth are feeling, how, how society is feeling, the kind of reaching out for other inspirations. It's all social commentary. I don't see why people would decide to complain about, oh, it's negative and whatnot. People just say and, you know, rap or sing about what they see in their day-to-day -day lives. It's the fact it's just not reported on a big scale in the news. It's like people like choose to just tuck it underneath the right. They don't want to see it for what it is. They don't want to stare right in the face in the mirror. Good looking for the beat, family. We are not saying rap music is perfect. Yeah, it can have an effect on impressionable young people. Right, my son is 15, yeah. He listens to a lot of this UK rap. And the kind of rap it is, it's not what I want him to be listening to. And um, I have a fear of him falling into that lifestyle, yes. I found out a bit, but I still want to know who said that. You get but me? it's a reason why it's so popular among young people. There's no pulling punches with Hollow's music. Like, it is what it is. Like, he just gives it to everybody straight kind of thing, innit? There is reason why they turn to the streets. Rap and grime music is new. The problems it talks about are not. It's been happening from a long time, innit? The way you hear rappers talking about like, what they're going through now, like guns and knives and that, that's, that, that's what's been happening for a long time, before we was rapping, before rap music came about. The, the bottom line is it's a family unit. Like Everybody that is in this movement has been together from, from little. And all, half of the ones that are together now, like, you might as well say we were all at war when they were little. I think, I think there's a whole other set of things, which is notably poverty, uh, lack of employment, lack of career, lack of aspiration. But people don't want to know about the problems. And we prefer to find the easy explanations. We need more opportunities and more accessibility to them. Having these will give young people a way out of crime and a bright future. As people at the bottom class, I think, they need to be focused on just a little bit more just to tell them, okay, if this doesn't work out for you, you've got this option. Like when I was in school, certain kids were never told that they were suspended straight away because they were talking too much. And some of them are like the greatest graphic designers I know right now. And some of them sing great and just do architecture great, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, some kids find their way and some kids turn to the streets, but it's up to schemes like this and like, volunteer teachers who can give them another option or people like us to go in schools and be like, okay, this is another option for you. If that can be pitched in, it's something that can work. Rap is just a vocalisation, an expression of young people's feelings and experiences. They use rap to tell their story. A story that needs to be listened to. This is our life. Yeah. They say what goes up must come down. True. <laughs> well, not in our case. Because right now we're up, but we're only going to go down in history. Yeah, that's right. Mount that's for hard. the state. 2008. Yeah, Fox, I love how you're raising my niece. It made me want to start a family, so I gave up the streets. To be real, I was pissed.
this When I heard you quit your 9 to 5 Yo bro nah, you don't need to live a grinder's life Finish, I know you hustle and you serve out the food But I'm hoping that that path don't bring the worst out of you